Welcome back. In this lecture, I want to show you parent-child relationships. This becomes important, especially when you're trying to structure your website with a menu that has multiple options. Let's go back to our website and see how it's taking shape. Now you notice we have our page menu up here about home products services. Um, and when I click on one of these, of course, it goes to the page with that information. Now, what if you wanted additional pages under this menu? And that's not uncommon. For example, you might under services have a list of different types of services you provide more pages or very common what you see on websites is under about, you might have, uh, you know, about the management team, investor information and a career section. Um, nonetheless, whatever the case is, you'll have pages under this menu. Um, and this is where parent child relationships can come in handy. So let's go take a look at that. Let's go to our pages. So you can click pages, all pages. And of course, these are the list of pages that are showing up there. What we can do now is create a new page. So let's go ahead and create a page. And let's just in this hypothetical scenario, say that we have uh, just two types of product categories that we sell in this fictitious company. Um, and I don't know, let's just uh, call them physical products. These are the physical products we sell. Of course, this doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but just to give you a sense of where it goes. So that's another page. Now, if you look here on the right, these attributes, um, there's a parent drop down box here. So if I click this down, it's showing me the existing pages. And I want products to be the parent of this page. So physical products will be considered the child and products will be considered the parent. So let's select that and let's click publish. All right. Now notice my URL has changed. It's done like a breadcrumb. It's slash products slash physical products. Moreover, if we go to all pages, look at how it's laid out now. You've seen my physical product page, but you can see it's kind of drawn a tree. So products is the parent and physical products is the child. They're both pages and you can edit each individually just like before. But if we go back to our website now, and let's refresh this. See how my menu has changed and I now have a physical products page. So I can click on products. It takes me to the regular product page. And of course I can do physical products and that takes me to that new page we just created. So you can see the parent child is reflected in the menu. So let's just go ahead and create another page to get some practice here. And we call this virtual products. These are our virtual products. So you notice right now it thinks it's hostdailydeals.com slash virtual products. Um, let's go ahead and change our parent and our parent here will be products. Publish. And you can see it's changed our URL structure. Now if we go back here, let's refresh. So under products, we have physical products and virtual products. So you can see how by using the parent child, you can actually affect how your menu is displayed as well. So it's a good way of keeping your site organized and understanding what is the parent and what is the child so that it's also reflected in your menu. So go ahead and try add a couple of uh, child pages for yourself. You could even, if your menu is, is your if your site is very sophisticated or complicated you could for example under virtual product let's oops let's uh let's go back there let's add a new page and these are red virtual products these are our red virtual products now for the parent, yeah, I'm actually going to make the parent virtual products, which is itself a child of products. So it's a multi nested thing. I have products, then virtual products, and then red virtual products. Let's publish that. 
and you can see in the URL it's products, virtual products, then red virtual products. Now if we go back to our theme, refresh, so products, and then virtual products is a little error, because you can see virtual products has its own child, which is red virtual products. And if I click that, of course, I go to that page. So you can have multiple levels of parent-child relationships, um, where each child can in turn be a parent. However, um, not all themes menu bar are going to support too many levels deep. Um, and also just from a web usability perspective, this is about as deep probably as you really want to go, unless you've got an incredible kind of complex taxonomy. Um, just from a general usability perspective, this is probably as deep as you want to go. So that's what parent-child relationships are. I encourage you to go add a few yourself and just get practice doing that. And I'll see you in the next series.